begin right in the middle. A rookie bounty hunter is transporting their first bounty. A slippery galactic embezzler who's now bound and ready for delivery to the mysterious boss. The bounty hunter has turned a blind eye to the questionable circumstances surrounding the quarry. Is this the one big run to better the rookie's lot in life? What could go wrong? You know, I'm not like surprised this happened to be honest. You'll see, I am not the person you want. Like, no way, because I'm really not supposed to be here, but I understand, totally get it. You're doing your job, I get it. But, um, yeah, I... Oh, did you, were you gonna, do you have some, I, sorry. Please no talking. I'm trying to stop this. Also, you're my prisoner, so I'm in charge here. If we could just keep quiet for the rest of the trip, I would appreciate it. Also, I won't shoot you then. Right, there's, I think there's been a misunderstanding. Um, maybe you can help me. Shh. Keep her silent. I'm talking to you. Package is secure. We are scheduled to meet you at the rendezvous point on time. Ooh, you're already late. Uh, sorry about that, sir. I, uh, I, I will increase my speed immediately. I don't care. Be here on time. <laughs> Your, your hands smell good if that's... Are we in danger? Was that it? Was there something... Everything is under control. Oh. Just keep quiet. I'm in charge. I also have a gun. And I'm not afraid to use it. Oh. Agent Gulch, you ignored my furlough order to Onyx Station. I'm visiting family. Well, you are visiting family. Should you engage in any acquisition activities, I will not hesitate to order your absolute termination. Me? No. <laughs> family! Do not dare to deceive me, Agent Gulch. Of course not, Captain. I'm just taking some me time. End transmission. My best to your wife. You stinky old frogger. I'm not doing any acquisitions. I have a patsy. <laughs> so you, you've been doing this long? <laughs> I mean, your boss seems like, I guess, okay to work for. I don't know. <laughs> you don't have to tell me about bad bosses, right? <laughs> Let's make a deal. Sure, yeah. I remove your blindfold, you stop talking. Uh, yeah, sure, yeah, no, I will, I will talk less. Oh, oh my gosh. Learning how to manage bangs, right? I've, I've always struggled with my bangs. I've started cutting my own hair. <laughs> really? I mean, I have, like, it's for sharing things. I, um, I did it. I did it. Here's the thing. The corporation is super evil. You know that they blow up planets if they don't pay their debts. You know that, right? Like, like Zygon is this normal planet and they, they have people going about their daily lives and they're just gonna blow them up because they couldn't come up with three trillion units. I'm just like this cog in their evil machine and maybe I can just like throw a little money their way. Okay, we are all cogs in machines. I, I understand wanting to do the right thing, but the matter of the fact is I have a job to do as well and it is my duty to bring you back 
I know I keep threatening you with the gun, but I'm supposed to bring you back in one piece, so. Yeah. Mostly. Safe. One piece so that they can then make me into millions of pieces and send me out into the universe. The, when you put it that way, it actually sounds quite beautiful. Mm.